Hey guys, welcome to the Tech Granth. Today we are going to solve the lead code problem of container with most water. Like and share the video. Subscribe to the channel to get further update. So this problem says that uh, we have to find container with most water and the container is defined using an array. So given a non-negative integer a1 to an each represent a point at coordinate i ai and vertical lines are drawn such that two end point of line this and this find two lines together so and it has been given that no you may not slant the container and n is at least two so you will have some water trapped every time and the example given here is in the vertical line this is the case represented and max value is 49 okay so to approach this kind of problem you need to uh, the in this case uh, you are not worried about whatever is there in between so it's simple maths whatever value of this length and this width is there so basically that is the maximum amount of water trapped or the max area that is trapped here so for this what you can do is uh, you need to find between the two endpoints if you start from here and you go till here so between the two pillars in consideration whichever is lower so that will trap the water for you if if this uh, if something is more than this pillar so it will overflow basically so it will trap water only till this level so you need to get the lower of the two pillars at the far to end and uh, multiply it by the distance between the two pillars so if I was considering this first pillar and this last pillar so what a trap between these two will be whatever value of this pillar length which is 1 into whatever distance between these two pillars are so there are 9 elements here so the distance between these two pillars is 9 or rather 8 so that, that is the uh, that is the amount of water or that uh, maximum area which is trapped between these two pillars now to solve this problem you need to keep track of the lower pillar among the two and you need to get the track of true boundary so what we can do here is we will start from both end basically first to uh, the lower end or the left side will use we can use two, uh, two pointer solution here so the left side we can put it on zero and the right side we can put it on n minus one which is the last pillar here and uh, the formula can be the minimum the whatever the minimum of left and uh, right we have uh, basically it will not be left and right it, it is given as part of the height so it will be whatever height we have at left and whatever height we have at right multiplied by the distance between the two which is right minus left so this is the zeroth position and this is the last position which is whatever length is there so this height dot length uh, with n here n is equals to height dot length basically so this formula should give us the water trapped between any of these two pillars so to get the maximum if suppose this is, we store it in temp so max value will be max of if i say max val here so max will be max val comma temp so every time I get more area, I will just replace my max value with that that value. Now, how do we increment and decrement uh, the two boundaries, the left and right? So if I consider these two pillar, now this pillar cannot trap more water than it is already trapping between the left and the right side, because if you see the width wise, this is the maximum that it can trap and height wise this is limiting me so 
out of the two pillar i need to eliminate this pillar and move on to my next pillar which is uh, and eliminate eliminate this pillar and go to the next pillar so by that logic every time among the two pillar that i have i will eliminate the smaller pillar so if the height of my left if it is less than the height of my right so in this case i will eliminate my left pillar otherwise i will eliminate my right pillar so if this is the case then i will increment my left boundary otherwise i will increment my right right boundary so this this is the logic that you can think of because uh, the reason is very straight forward it is because this cannot trap more water than it is already trapping between uh, the two pillars because we are limited by the smaller pillar and the distance between this and the rightmost pillar that is the maximum distance it can go so that is why it cannot trap more water than that and it is only relevant to remove the smaller pillar among the two so let us solve this it should be a pretty straightforward solution so if i say max equal to 0 and i will return this return this max value and uh, we'll have a left side like this which is equals to 0 initially we'll have a right bound which is my height dot length minus 1 these two will be there do I need anything else I don't think so and uh, we will go on till left is less than right so basically we are shrinking this space so we are we started from here and the left bound from here and right bound from here and we are moving towards this side so it's like the left is moving towards right and my right is moving towards left so we will move this or we will move this or we'll move this so this will be moved as long as uh, the left is still lower than the right bound so this will be the criteria and max value that we are calculating it will be math dot max of my max whatever we have so basically it will be this i will incorporate both the formula together so and it will be between this and the temp value so temp value will be math dot min and min of the same left and right so it will be of this multiplied by the left minus the right minus left so whatever this value is there and i will multiply it by right minus left so this will give me my max value now i just need to incorporate this condition so we'll again just copy it here if this is equals to if the right one is greater so i will increment my left otherwise i will decrement my right i think there is a mistake here so it will be minus minus i cannot go further towards right so i will just decrement this value so that should be it let us submit the solution it seems okay we'll submit So seems okay so that is how we solved the problem and uh, this problem has been asked in a lot of big tech companies so I'll be solving further problems if you have any other problem that you want me to solve then do put it in the comment section I will visit it and I will definitely solve it for you guys so thank you for watching the video see you in the next one bye